Oh my god, it's raining rainbows on me. Is that good or bad? Is a good or bad thing happening? What is- Did the holy man do this? Who's that guy? Welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Thousand One Games. I'm your host, Gaming J, and welcome to the Age of Mythology. We are no longer in the Age of Empires. We have given a given up on silly old historical accuracy. And the folks at Ensemble Studios, after producing Age of Empires and some pretty cool real-time strategy games, decided to go full mythology in uh, this this game, which is sort of a sequel. I guess it's a spiritual sequel to the Age of Empires series. But uh, anyway, this is the game we're going to be checking out here today. One of the games in the book, a Thousand Games Just Play Before You Die. Um, so let's go ahead and do this. Now, this game features a full campaign and different kinds of scenarios and stuff you can play. I like how there's like mythical creatures, by the way, like swimming through the water and stuff. And here's like a giant or a sentinel or something watching the shoreline. Um, we're going to hop into a random game against a computer here. And we get to be... A god. So in this game, you can be... Oh god, what is that? So hold on, you can be Zeus. You can be Poseidon, god of the sea. You can be Hades, god of the underworld. Isis, which I guess is an Egyptian god. The same with Ra. I know he's the sun god. He is a, a bird head there. Set, also Egyptian by the look of it. Odin, you can be Odin. Maybe Thor will make an appearance. Oh, you could actually just be Thor, okay. You could be, also be Loki. It could be Kronos, who I'm not sure who that particularly is. Oranus? Don't know. I, I'm not up on my gods. I, I'm not fully uh, versed in godhood. Uh, Gaia, which is the god of the earth. You could be a random god. You could just be an, ass an assortment of Greek gods. You could just be Greek. Apparently that is being a god. Or, or you could just be Norse or Egyptian. Uh, Atlantean. Okay, so the Atlantean gods are Gaia and this Kronos guy. I think we should be the granddaddy of all gods, which is Zeus. I mean, he is the the OG god, right? So, yeah, let's go ahead uh, and have him as my major god. What does this do, actually? Oh, you can actually just sort of see all the different gods. Okay. Whoa, there's a, there's a locked hidden tier of Chinese gods. Wow, they went all out in their godhood here. All right, we're going to be Zeus. We can customize our opponents here. And I think what we are going to do is have a series of computer opponents, but we're going to have them all be on different teams so that basically there's just going to be a big fracas. So we did this last time when we played Age of Empires. We just sort of created like a big chaotic battlefield and we let uh, we let different players go at it. And then we kind of swooped in at the end with uh, catapults and stuff. So hopefully we can do something somewhat similar. I've never played Age of Mythology before, selecting some good gods here. Uh, I guess let's let's throw Thor in the mix. And how about this Kronos guy? Sure. So we got the big boys, though. Zeus, Odin, and Ra, the uh, major gods of, uh, you know, Mesopotamia or that rough region. I don't know, the Middle East, Egypt, whatever you call it. Uh, but we got, we got an assortment of gods. And we got a few other lesser known players. Well, I guess Thor is fairly well known because of the MCU, but Kronos never heard of that guy. He's he's an up and coming god. He's sort of a B list god. He doesn't get in the good movies and stuff yet, but uh, he'll get there. He'll get there. Game type supremacy, uh, victory by conquest, settlements, or wonders. Conquest is defeating all enemies. Deathmatch starts with high resources. Lightning plays at high speed. Interesting. Um, let's do a deathmatch actually. Or Conquest is defeating all enemies. Let's just go Conquest. Forget about victory through wonders. Visibility is normal. Day-night. Let's have a day-night cycle. 60 minutes is too long, though. Let's do 10 minutes. Titans? Sure. Let's, let's let them in. Uh, the giant map seems to be locked off. This section is only available with the Tale of the Dragon DLC. No, I don't want to buy DLC. Thank you. And we will leave difficulty on easy and... As far as the different maps, oh, look at all these different maps we can we can do. Watering Hole, Vinland Saga, that's got to be Norse. Valley of the Kings, Tundra, The Unknown, Team Migration, Sudden Death, Sea of Worms, Savannah. Interesting. Oh, the River Styx. Oh, you can play in the Underworld. That's kind of interesting, actually. Look, there's other Underworld levels, too. Erebus. Ah. Uh... Kind of 
like the look of Archipelago. <laughs> I can't even say that. Archipelago. Uh, Anatolia also looks kind of cool. And I tell you what, we're going to go totally random. The unknown. Only gods know what the unpredictable map will be. Land or water, ice or desert, you must explore to find out. I'm hoping this means the map will be a melange of different biomes, so we'll get some uh, interesting terrain. But anyway, without further ado, let's go ahead and start the game. And of course, yes, we are playing on easy because I've never played this game before. But uh, knowing real-time strategy games, I, I understand the gist of what we're looking to do here. So villagers cost 50 stakes and takes one. Oh, it's like a man, one man and woman couple. Villagers gather resources and build buildings. All right. Well, you go ahead and do that then. You guys go ahead and chop wood. Actually, I want you to tend my chickens. Look, we got a gold mine right here. So you go ahead and start mining gold. And uh, just like that, the world has has begun. Now, we're going to send this guy riding a pony off to explore different corners of the world. Good luck finding other gods, sir. Just queuing up a ton of things for him to do. Oh, look at this. What is this? A settlement. Is that my is that my opponent or is that just like a free settlement? Let's send a dude over here and see what we can do. That might be one of my opponents. Anyway, uh, we'll build another villager too, and then we will... See what we can do in terms of... Oh, there's another gold mine. I should maybe be mining that one. I guess off exploring. So, is this actually an opponent? What is this? Is this an abandoned village? Uh, an abandoned or unclaimed village. Build a town center on top of the settlement to claim it. Okay. Town center. We need 300 gold, 300 wood, and 100 stakes, which we have. Where's our money? Okay. So we actually can claim that. Good to know I will be back for you. In the meantime, I guess we'll s focus on wood and gold and let's see what else we can build here. A granary drop site for any type of food. Storehouse drop site for wood and gold. We should build one near the wood and gold area. Dock, wooden wall or a temple. All right, forget about praying and stuff. We need a supply chain. So we're going to go, hmm, yeah, okay, we'll build it, like, right there. All right, you go ahead and build that, sir. Meanwhile, let's uh, continue pumping out villagers, because we're going to need those people. Oh, we have found an opponent. We just <laughs> rode right on through their camp. Er in the early days of uh, s civilization, our civilizations are relatively peaceful, I think. I don't think they want to kill me. I don't really want to kill them. We haven't developed any hostilities yet. We're all just, it's just a bunch of like peaceful villagers. Farming, mining, reproducing, if you catch my drift. Just living in peace. Trains myth units and provides myth mythological improvements granted by the gods. Hey, is there a barracks or anything? Um, He has invoked a great hunt power. Wait, who? Who? What? Is that against me? Does that, does that hurt my prospects in some way? Um, all right, what do we what do we want to build here? House sports ten population. I guess I probably need that. Go ahead and build a house. House for the miners. This guy is is our our lone chicken farmer. He's he's communing with the chickens. He's at one with them, at peace with the chickens. He spent his whole life among the chickens. Name is Craig. And then we got uh, our mining crew over here. They, uh, they enjoy, they're like, they're sort of like happy dwarves, day in and day out. They go ahead and they, oh, look, he's bringing a steak back. How do you get a steak out of a chicken? I don't want to know, actually. <laughs> um, you go ahead and actually you mine these little piggies. You're in charge of the pigs. Um, all right, what did we need? What, what, what did we need for this abandoned village? We need to build a town center. Um, you... What do we need for a town center? We need a hundred stakes. Oh, if we have a hundred stakes, that, t that town's totally ours. It's probably actually a waste to expand that fast. How do we build units? Drop site for any food, drop site for wood and gold, constructs naval myth units. I, I don't want naval units, protects towns. Okay, I guess this is what I want. So I guess, uh, I guess there is no barracks. You go straight to myth. 
Uh, you just skip right over conventional units and you go right into warrior and it's oh look this guy's doing stuff I kind of want to like spy on other towns just to see how they're doing stuff because I'm like I'm clearly doing stuff very slow and probably inefficiently so how about we just can we queue these guys up forever yeah I think we've just repeated the build Arnak advances to the classical age under the protection of Bast who are these gods? I've never even heard of the gods that are, uh... That are, are... Granting you guys favor. Ooh, we can build a Pegasus. Has no attack, can only be attacked by range units. Blood of Zeus causes heroes to have more hit points. Where, where do you build heroes? Oh, you build them from your town! Oh look, Jason. Jason the hero. He needs a lot of stakes, though. We need to start, uh... We need to start taking care of more animals. Look, this guy's like worshiping at the temple. Get over here. Uh, we need, let's build a granary right near all these elk. We're going to turn you into some nice loaves of bread, elk. Trust us. It's going to be delicious. Um, what is this? This is an oracle. Is he from another team? What is he doing here? I'm afraid. <laughs> They sent a holy man to my village. What does he want? He's just standing on the outskirts of town, staring at my, my peasants. Um, I don't trust this guy. He's eyeing my gold. I don't trust him one bit. Uh, let's go ahead and continue to farm all these animals. Maybe I should stop the constant pro production of villagers. Oh my god, it's raining rainbows on me. Is that good or bad? Is a good or bad thing happening? What is... Did the holy man do this? Who's that guy? There's some random guy running through the back of my village. Okay, I think my town... No, they're attacking him. He's clearly a bad guy. Alright, he died. I don't know what that was about. Um. Okay, Karnak is raining rainbows on me. Is this good or bad? Is this what I want or not what I want? I don't know. Oh, it's another bad guy. He seems disinterested in me. He's like, you suck. You're doing you're doing so poorly. It would be embarrassing to uh to do anything to you. Wait, can I can I summon a bolt of lightning? I have god powers. Okay. Seriously though, where where do we build more advanced buildings? I, I'm totally missing something here. Choose a minor god and advance to the classical age. You need 400 beef. Yeah, I got, that guy's just out for a run, I guess. He has no he has no beef with us. Literally no beef. Um, where's my scout? He's still alive. Surprisingly, yes. Oh my god, they're so much more advanced than us. So this is going to be an interesting little video here today. We're really just sort of messing around in the world of Age of Mythology, just kind of exploring. I will figure out eventually how to build units, trust me. Change mythical units. Provides improvements granted by the gods. See, that's just not what I really need right now. We're going to go ahead and build Jason, though. He will be our lone Argonaut. There he is. Can we build multiple Jasons? No, only one Jason per army. All right, this is this is literally the embodiment of Gaming J. He's become the son of a god. You guys remember that old TV show, The Legendary Adventures of Hercules, with Kevin Sorbo? Because that's what this game is kind of reminding me of. You know, like it that that show like McZeus and and Ares and remember Aphrodite like sexy goddess who would like come down and like taunt Hercules uh, and of course Xena the well-known <laughs> well-known historical figure who is not made up in any way what is this obelisk summoned by Egyptian priest to aid in scouting interesting they're just there's Egyptians in them near them here hills um legendary adventures of Hercules was awesome though I definitely remember watching that a lot as a uh, as a kid with my brother. Okay, here we go. We can worship Athena or Hermes. Goddess of wisdom and warfare. Her improvements aid infantry defense. God of messengers. His improvements benefit your cavalry. Yo, screw Hermes. We're going all... We're going with the Minotaur and stuff. Did you see those upgrades she can provide? That's what we want, yo. Uh, gather point. Okay, so I, I think once we... Once we pay tribute to Athena, I think... Everything's going to be good, and then we can start maybe building some units. 
Um, again, or I'm just clearly missing something. Like, I do not see the town center, house, granary, storehouse. The only thing we haven't built is a wall. Do we need more houses, maybe? I guess let's build a house. And these guys ran out of meat to harvest. But you guys go kill those pigs. Those are far away, but... You guys make it work. Oh, Jason has found someone to hunt. Look, he's chasing this guy down. Yes! You have earned the wrath of the god. Click this banner to locate a hero. Click this banner to find two idle villagers. Hey, what is this? Is this somebody's house? Yeah, he's just straight up raiding a house. Get out of here. Nobody nobody said you could live here. This, this area is zoned for forest only. Not houses. Get out of here, peasants. Okay, it's gonna... Oh, actually, he's making good progress. I was gonna say, it's gonna take him forever to cut that house down, but he's actually doing good work on it, so we'll let him be. Um... Oh, here we go, finally! Okay, armory. Allows you to improve weapons and armor and infantry. How do you build armor and infantry farms? Provide unlimited food, but are slower than hunting. Okay, sentry tower. Greek academies. Train infantry and counter infantry. Okay, here's here's what we want. Finally. Okay, we're going to start building some infantry places. We're going to build a farm. Cuz it's good it's good to have unlimited food. Sounds like a good deal to me. Hey, look, we have a minotaur just hanging out. That's awesome. All right. Things are happening in the world in the ancient world, the legendary adventures of Jay. Oh yeah, Jay, Jay even burned a village down. This is way better than Hercules, guys. Although it doesn't have Hercules' little pal. I forget his name. So in, in Hercules and Xena. Hercules and Xena were basically the same show. It's just, do you want a male or female protagonist? But in Hercules and Xena, there was like always like a, a side dude hanging out. Like in Hercules, I want to say the guy's name was Legolas, but it wasn't Legolas. It was something else. But Hercules had like a little human buddy who just hung out with him. And then in Xena, it was Gabrielle. I remember it was like a red-headed girl with long hair named Gabrielle, uh, who was like Xena's friend. Um, but yeah, it's it functionally the same show, I think. And it had a lot of crossover. Um, are we firing at this bird? We do not like birds, apparently. Maybe that bird's a spy. Spy for the other side. Only one unit at a farm at a time. All right. How about we just start building more farms? Here's our cruel taskmaster. Didn't we have one of these the last time we played Age Empires? And he whipped all the peasants. Ah, the peasant. He's like the the cruel overlord. Get over here and work. Work till till your hands are bones. All right, and boom. All right, four farms seems like a good idea. Target location to heal the units and repair the buildings. Siege weapons and ships. Interesting. I don't know how we use these abilities, because it seems to be like a no. There's like no lightning. You cannot lightning bolt there. Um, well, I guess that we can do wherever we want. Hey, what's this? Oh, it's that holy man. He's back. He's come back. Well, we're going to get him. Now, I think this game is the first in the sort of Age of Empire series to have a fully 3D engine. So if I'm not mistaken, this game is fully in 3D. Oh, look, his spirit. Oh, his spirit went up to heaven. That guy was super holy. Man, we we killed a holy man. Is that a good thing or a bad thing? Did we just do a good or a really bad deed? We might be in a lot of trouble with the gods. In a world where gods are real, I don't know if you want to go pissing them off. You know? So I guess we'll we'll consider that a a, a pseudo victory. I kind of want to leave this scout guy forever, just whipping the peasants. Although here's what we're gonna do: we're gonna get him to finish exploring these black areas, just so I know precisely what's going on, and then you can come back and be a cruel taskmaster master for your uh, lowly peasants. Anyway, we're currently building hoplites and archers. Probably upgrade these things. Uh, do we have enough money? Oh, we have tons of gold. We have tons of meat, too. Okay, just up upgrade whatever, then. Uh, we need to build more houses. Okay, you 
build where are oh you know what we should go ahead and claim this and i'm taking everybody off of gold but i think this is all going to work out in the end where are houses uh houses all right and then there okay wait do this then this and this and then this there you go buddy all right doing things in the right order all right night has befallen us do terrors come out in the night the night is dark and full of terrors that i've heard from game of thrones <laughs> a show that was awesome for about four seasons then took a steep decline you know what i kind of want to go back and rewatch now uh hercules a legendary journey because like i remember watching it as a kid and like it was just a ridiculous show but I liked it. I did like it. Oh, look, they get in formation, too. That's actually very clever. Um, I did like the show, so I kind of wonder, like, if I went and watched it now, would it be cheesy but enjoyable? Would it be unwatchable? I really wonder. Uh, Xena, too. I would give Xena another shot. I like Lucy Lawless. Pretty good. Gonna burn down this house. I don't know who that house belonged to, but it is no more. Those guys were non-believers. <laughs> Imagine being in that house and, and you look out the window and it's like, oh my God, Jason, a bunch of Argonauts, and literally a cow-headed man have come to kill me. <laughs> Get out of here, scout. Nobody else is smart enough to scout on horseback like I was. Oh, look, we're going to slaughter some villages. This is what we call a raid. I didn't intend to go for a raid. It just sort of happened. But now that we're raiding, I'm feeling pretty good about things. All right, let's kill this hero. This guy is a medium hoplite. Oh, and off he goes to heaven. <laughs> there goes the soul. Let's slaughter all these guys. Oh, they have their own giant. Okay, forget it. Forget it, forget it. I was just testing the waters. We're going back home. Successful campaign. We killed one of their dudes. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and do this. Oh, look at this beautiful new town center we've got up here. This is great. Oh, look at this. Okay, so we can bullmen with a gore attack. We can build Labyrinth of Minnows. Athena upgrades Minotaurs to Bull Minotaurs, which are cheaper and more powerful. Interesting. Um, well, let's uh let's just continue pumping out archers and stuff for a bit. Hoplites. Improves Hoplite hack attack. That's... Yeah, do we have enough to upgrade? We need 800 food. Oh, well, we're almost there, actually. Uh, Odysseus. Oh, we have a new hero. Hippocrates. Can heal allied units. Yo, Hippocrates, dude. Get in on the mix. And also... We should, we should totally have Odysseus join the party. Why not? An additional 105 wood. Oh, man. Odysseus is literally made out of wood. And here comes Hippocrates. Father of all medicine. And definitely not a hypocrite. Oh, he just healed my guy. Thank you, Hippocrates. I like how the game automatically puts guys into formation. That's actually very handy. Um. Okay, I guess I should build more villagers. Because... We clearly don't have enough wood. So I'll build five villagers that'll be on nothing but wood duty. Do I need any more on gold? I'm going to build a couple more for gold. About two more. Uh, yeah, all right. And... Oh, I got two idle villagers. I was going to say, I need a few more people on farms. Oh, I have three idle villagers. What are you guys doing? You get on wood duty. You get on farm duty, and you get on farm duty. All right, I think the world's looking like a very good place right now. It's good to be a Greek. It's good. It's, it's, I'm glad. My guys are all glad they're worshiping the right god. They're like, we chose Zeus because we happen to be born to parents who worship Zeus, and it turns out he's the right one. He's going to lead us to victory. Now you go drop off your gold. And then we're going to build a storehouse near this gold mine over here. And we'll let this guy mine this. Okay, you build this. And then you do this. Hey, what is this? 
The ship of fingernails. This magic ship brings free fruit to your cities. Wait, what? What is this? Garrison this relic in the temple in order to gain... Wait, wait, wait. wait. How do we get this? Everyone, I'm, I'm summoning my army back. Pick up this random gold thing I found in the forest. Um, Alright, do we have enough to upgrade arrows yet? Not yet. Need 800 food. We're getting there. I say we just sort of let it happen and then we'll... Okay. Uh, wait, what did I do? Okay, do you guys have this thing? Yes, you do. Alright, you... Put this over here. What is this gonna do? Jason is carrying an artifact. Uh, you've recovered the ship of fingernails. You now have a steady trickle of food. Ooh, that's kind of cool. Like little artifacts on the battlefield. That's neat. I like that. Cool. Sort of like an RPG for your cities. It's like the city just gained a skill point or a trait or something like that. Um. Anyway, all right. We need a strategy here. I think my strategy is pink first. That's my strategy. He's the closest. Everyone else seems quite far away, so hopefully they'll leave me alone. We're gonna we're gonna for, we're gonna slowly send our empire westward. Hopefully, take those two villages and then take this guy out. You know why? Because who is this guy? This guy's worshiping Kronos, that evil second-rate god. That there's no room for that in my my glorious Jatopia. We definitely got to run that guy out of business. Um, you must build an armory. Oh, gotcha. Well. Hey, I have an idea. Let's build an armory. One of those things might be useful. Meanwhile, we are floating tons of cash. I know you're not supposed to do this in real-time strategy games. Pros never do this. You watch pros play real-time strategy games, and it's crazy. Their fingers are, like, always clicking. They're clicking, like, all around the map like this, like, looking at multiple things. Click, 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 click. I mean, I'm obviously exaggerating it. They don't click that fast, but I mean, like, they click fast. First person views of actual game, uh, you know, professional gamers are actually far less interesting than the people who are usually like observing and shoutcasting or whatever. But anyways, our armory done. Wow, buildings build so fast in this game. Improves the attack of all human soldiers. Uh, let's go ahead and upgrade our era. Oh yeah, we get another god. Dionysus, god of wine and celebration. I like that already. His improvements aid your cavalry or we can have apollo god of the sun and music his improvements help archers and they give you a badass soundtrack of war we're going uh we're going archer so there we go we have successfully upgraded oh we're, we're <laughs> you have to build up worship to apollo um also apollo was a character in battlestar galactica and he was awesome he was uh lee adama so that was another show that was like really solid for like four seasons and then kind of fell apart at the end. Not totally apart, but it, it's it's like I can count the number of amazing TV shows that ended well on like one hand, I think. Like if I really think about it, like amazing shows that I that I really liked, you know, but that ended well. Uh, like Breaking Bad is one for sure. I feel like that show ended quite, quite strongly. In fact, it got better the longer it went on. Um... But yeah, I'm trying to think, like, what are other shows? Uh, you know, I was thinking about, uh, we were just talking about Breaking Bad, or I was. And I was like, what's that other show that's like Breaking Bad, but that's like more hardcore? And it's uh, it's Ozark. Ozark is a quite intense show. But uh, a medium... Oh, I thought it said Hypnotist. Counter Infantry. Infantry only good against other infantry. What? Infantry only good against other infantry. Oh! This is an infantry... Uh, I get it. This is an infantry unit that is only good against other infantry. Whereas this is good against cavalry. Well, let's have a mix, I say. And a peltist. Archer only good against other archers. Let's have a mix of those guys, too. No population room? Okay, well, let's go ahead and start pumping out some houses. Go here... And then here, here, here. We're building like a whole little village over here. And there. All right, everyone, everything's queued up. Uh, we should probably build some stables so we can have cavalry, a market. You can train caravans. I don't care about that. Train unique units like that. 
Okay, so let's build some stables. Build them right over here. And we're going to go ahead and build that fortress. Oh, look at this thing. All right, this is going in the front. Fortresses go in the front of the battlefield. Okay, hopefully the pink guy is getting ravaged by the other players. Because I, I feel like my army is rather pathetic. Like, I'm building up so slowly and so taking my time. It's like two locations on the map to create entrances to the underworld through which units can move. Oh my god! We have like a pact with the devil. We can build an underworld passage. That is so cool. Uh, I feel like we're totally going to do that at some point. Like a Zerg Nidus Canal. Everything I know about real-time strategy game is like in reference to StarCraft or the original Command & Conquer. Or Dune 2, I guess, basically. Those are my go-tos. Those are my touchstones for real-time strategy games. Okay, let's see if we can like lightning bolt one of these dudes. Hello! We've come to see your village! In fact, we want to destroy your village. Oh god, they're shooting at us! We're being attacked! How unneighborly of you. I feel like we need siege weapons. Kinda want their army to come out and greet us so that we can- Oh yeah! Oh, they have an armadillo or something! Let's lightning it. Oh, we just killed their armadillo! Send that baby up to the heavens! Okay, my minotaur is going down. That sucked. Uh, what else can we do? Hey, you guys, get back over here. Oh, one of my guys went up to heaven. I don't know why some... Some some soldiers, when they die, they, like, get to go up to, uh, you know, the good place, but other soldiers just seem to die in the mud. All right, we raided them. We raided them successfully, I think. Oh, did Hippocrates die? Oh, I think the healer is dead. All right, let's uh, come back here. Can we rebuild him? Can we just summon him again? Do we have unlimited Hippocrates? We do. Ooh, Hercules! Oh my god. Good against myth units. We're building a Hercules. Uh, one... Oh, okay, this is... What is this? Villagers generating favor. Oh, so we do need to have villagers that are like... Oh my god, what is this? We have to have villagers worshipping at the temple in order to build mythical units. Manticore fires volleys of spikes from its tail. Yo, that's a thing, man. All right, uh, cavalry good against archers. Counter cavalry. What is happening? Oh, they took over my unit. They took over my Manticore. Wait, why is this being summoned to the sky? What is happening? My gods have a gift for you. I hope it hurts. Wait, why is this dying? Why is this dying? Wait, wait, no, no, they're, they're, they're de-building my unit! My, well, my fortress! It's being evaporated! Fix it! Fix it! Oh my god, my fortress went, <laughs> I built a fortress, it just got evaporated into the sky! I didn't even know that was a thing! Okay, we need more villagers, apparently they have the power to just bring buildings up into the heavens they just some they they sucked my building up to the sky oh it's snowing we're getting dynamic weather here that's awesome that's cool i feel like even though like i'm just sort of messing around i don't understand all the unit interactions and stuff oh my god there's wolves or something attacking me dudes army out of position out of position oh no the wolves are eating all my people oh my god they ate all the pigs and the wolves are attacking my, my, god damn it. <laughs> my villagers all got eaten by wolves. Didn't even know that was a thing. Um, yeah, so even though I know, like, clearly I'm just sort of messing around here. I don't know all the interactions. I'm totally, like, messing stuff up and such. But at the same time, I kind of feel like there's a lot of kind of cool things going on in this game. Um, and obviously if you spend the time to play it and you learn it a bit more, um, this probably becomes sort of way more strategic. I mean, again, I know I'm just sort of messing around here, not doing particularly well. Um, I don't think I'm doing horrible, but only because I'm playing against an easy AI. If I was playing against an AI that was even somewhat competent, I think I'd be screwed. Uh, let's pump out a few more villagers here. All right, is my fortress done yet? Let's actually use our fortress instead of just letting it get evaporated. <laughs> that was... So sad. That was so sad. Okay. We can build Odysseus. 
Hercules. Oh, wait. You can build these as a town center. The heck? Raft horses. Okay. Let's build Hercules. Oh, we need more worship. Right. Okay. If we go and we worship at ta a town center you know, over there, what will that do? And let's build a storehouse right here. And mine. Go mine. Mine. Okay, we're gonna start building some worshippers here. And these guys, their sole purpose in life is to come worship at the temple so that we can build more. So we can build Hercules. Come on, Hercules. Oh, here he comes. Here he comes. We're running out of food slowly. That seems to be our most precious resource is food. Hey, wait, there's like a, just like a dead pig here. You guys, can you harvest these dead pigs? That'd be uber convenient. All right, we got a we got a, hef a hefty squad of gold miners. So that's going well. Oh yeah, look at all these worshiping dudes. Now we're in business uh, with gore attack. Can we upgrade these guys. We cannot. Six. Oh my god, we need. Damn. So you need a lot of worshippers in this game. There must be a way to upgrade our worship power. Heroes to have more hit points, temple healing. Okay. Well, we're just gonna let things play out for a little bit here. Oh, this this house is on fire. Can you repair the house? And then get him, him, and him, and that. Yeah, this guy, this guy has like his whole career planned out. Repair house, gather up some dead pigs, uh, hunt or, or chop down wood. All right, here's Hercules. Does he look anything like Kevin Sorbo? He does not. <laughs> Looks like a guy in a bear costume. And he kind of walks funny. Kind of walks really funny. But yeah, it looks like he's wearing a bear, like a, like a mascot bear helmet or something. That does not look like Hercules. Or, God, what was the guy's name? Not Legolas. What was the little buddy? Um, all right, we're going to build a couple of siege weapons. Because I think we took their army down fairly easily. We just didn't have any way of sieging their town. New strategy. Let's go in guns ablazing. And oh, let's build a couple of these. There we go. Build a few of these guys. Here, let's do that. I don't know what these upgrades are. I'm just upgrading random stuff. Proves hoplite attack armor. Sure, why not? All right, here's a catapult. Or no, it's a petrobolos. It's a catapult. It's clearly a catapult. All right, we're going to make some command groups here. Number one is our main army. And number two is our catapult. That, that's basically as complex as we're going to make things here. I think we should also use our portal into hell. Might just be me, but I think we should summon on the power of... Uh, Satan <laughs> or no, I guess it's Hades, but you know eh, Potato potato we should basically summon the underworld for our attack um, Oh my god, where's the horse guy? Where's our horse overlord? Did he die? Did the wolves get him? Finally these these peasants have been working without a brutal taskmaster Huh, so wait you're telling me you're what you're telling me that human beings will work when they're not under constant Fear for their life? I don't believe it. I don't believe it. We should build a new taskmaster before they realize that uh, nobody's watching them and they rise up and revolt against us. I don't like peasants that aren't under constant threat. All right, time to... We're going to build one there. And we'll build the destination point. There. We cannot target this god power at this location. Okay. Wait, do I have to like what be standing over near an area? That actually makes it much more lame. Okay, we're not going to use the portal yet. I'll uh, use it for my next opponent. Uh, okay, you guys come over here. These guys kind of talk like Dothraki actually. Like if you if you hear them talking in the background, they kind of say they kind of have like Dothraki type words. I feel, I, although I think it's just Greek. <laughs> so hopefully it's not offensive to anyone who actually is uh, Greek. 
but yes. Uh, housing. Why can't this guy build a house? He doesn't know how. Okay. Wait, why can't I build a house? After you build 10 houses, you will need to use town centers to support additional. Oh, can't just continue to pump out houses. All right. Where are my petroboluses? Jeez, they're slow. Okay, petrobolus. Come over there. Actually, Petrobolus, I want you to attack the guard tower. All right, here we go. This is our first offensive campaign in a while. Oh, we can only use the bolt once. Oh my god, does, does that ever come back? Kaboom! Kaboom! The catapults do not do nearly as much damage as I was hoping. I thought that tower would go down, like, instantly, but... Whatever, we'll take it. All right, now go ahead and destroy this. Well, actually, the building's going down faster than the tower. Didn't expect that. Kaboom! All right, who next? They're not even coming to defend it. They're just like, well, time to die, I guess. I guess we're done. Oh, look at their pitiful army. Die! All right, while they're busy fighting us, our catapults are going to sneak attack. It's not so sneaky, but they are going to try and sneak around. And, uh... Oh, look at Hercules just wailing on the on the enemy there. Yeah, Hercules, do your thing! So Xena was a warrior princess, right? So Hercules was like the son of a god, but Xena was just like a warrior princess. She was just a human who happened to really love killing. Uh, she was like Michael Crumbopulous or whatever from Rick and Morty. So this is sort of like the exact type of uh, atmosphere where Xena would have been bred, you know, like the the battles here, the, the, these hardened battles, Xena might have emerged. Oh my god, spiderwebs. Oh my god, what is that thing? It's come to attack my catapults. Kill it. Kill the beast. Slay the beast. Okay, it's totally done for. I don't even think it's going to get one catapult. Oh, we're rocking these guys. Aha! An easy computer player is no match for me, as it turns out. <laughs> you know, it'd be really embarrassing today if I sat down to play this game and I did lose to an easy computer player, so I'm glad that we're actually winning. But uh, anyway, let's just attack move here, and uh, I think this battle now has basically won itself. Um, wait, what, what is happening here? Like three dudes attacking my, my few guys here. There we go. All right. All right. This battle is basically won. Time for the resettling process to begin. We're going to bring over a, a peasant. and We're going to build a town hall of our own. We're going to assimilate the defeated Kronosians into our way of life. So I know it looks like we killed everyone, but I'm just going to pretend like there's still a bunch of displaced villagers and we've just destroyed their their leadership and their military infrastructure, and we're gonna be rebuild. We're gonna bring them into our way of life, show them how we do things, make sure they worship the right gods this time. Make sure they're on board with Apollo and all the other ones we worship. I forget Zeus, <laughs> how could I forget Zeus? He's the big honcho, he's the head, head honcho behind all of this. Hercules his own dad. Hercules is on the battlefield brutalizing peasants, like don't worry, you guys are gonna love my dad, you just gotta get to know him. At first, he's a bit of a dick. Hippocrates keeps getting killed, so we'll bring him back as he heals people. And Hippocrates, you come right over here, bro. Oh, look, the catapults know what they're doing, too. They destroyed the uh, entry buildings. All right. Yeah, they're trying to they're trying to trade. They're trying to build caravans. <laughs> You don't intimidate me with your donkey and spices! Get out of here! Destroy this fool. No trade unless it is specifically allowed by, uh, Zeus. What are these things? Spider eggs. They're laying spiders around us. Oh my god! Oh, a spider sucked us in! That's not cool. Alright. Everyone get over here so Hippocrates can do his thing. We successfully defeated a computer! 
I feel good. I, you know what? Every time I sit down to play one of these real-time strategy games that I don't, that I've never played before, I'm always like, how badly am I going to lose? But I guess when you play the game on easy, the answer is you're not. The answer is you got this, bro. You just gotta look within and be confident. There we go. We're getting all the things now. Okay, we're gonna build up a whole secondary force here. Um, draft horses. Siege weapons increase speed. That'd be nice, so sure. I am floating a lot of money, so just build it all! You know what? I'm feeling saucy. I'll have everything. Build a market. Okay, we need a market now, as it turns out. You can't believe in more advanced gods unless you also believe in capitalism and currency. <laughs> so, gods love a good flea market. Gotta have one of them before they'll come to us. All right. You. Can you, can you mine? Oh, we can totally tend their fields. All right, we're done. It's, it's done. I'm going to build like a whole little cadre of villagers here. And I guess I'll just build like a bunch of guard towers. So hopefully they don't get killed. But other than that, I'm probably not going to do much for uh, these people. Oh, they have another town hall over here. What is this? Karnak is halfway to freeing a titan. Uh oh, that, that doesn't sound good. I feel like titans are definitely things that could screw us over. We got to hurry up and uh, evolve. Choose a minor god. Advance to the mythic age. Oh no, we need a thousand food. Um, purchase a hundred units of food. Sure. Oh sweet. Oh there we go. All right, we we said we found the food. As it turns out, the market's actually kind of cool. Perhaps you would allow me to leave with some dignity. Yes, I would, sir. That is, he wants to surrender. Uh, so he has resigned. There we go. All right, we just beat our first opponent. And we did it honorably, too. We let him go. We let him go peacefully. He was like, you know what? I made a mistake. I dared to oppose you. I, I can be the bigger man and say I was wrong. And I feel like, you know what? I respect that. All right, Hera, which is Hercules' evil stepmother, goddess of the home. Her improvements help your buildings and myth units. That sounds boring. Face of the Gorgon. Oh, Medusa's. Actually kind of interesting. Petrifies most units at range. Oh, interesting. Or, ooh, a Colossus. Titan that can eat trees or gold mines to heal itself. God of the Forge labor his improvements aid human soldiers, armor, and weapons. Um, you know, like I think this guy would actually be better, but I am interested in these Medusas, so we're going Hera. We're going Hera just to see cool stuff. Alright, you do this. You You know what? I guess you've just Build another town square. Oh, we don't have enough stuff. Okay, you build a, uh, not granary. These and then this. You guys all do this. And, okay, where are guard towers? Gotta be guard towers somewhere. I haven't built a single one. Granary, storehouse, dock, wooden walls, temple, stable, archery range. Here we go, sentry towers. We're gonna go boom. Wait, hold on. Okay, he's going. Now we're going. Boom. Boom. Oh, I'm to build one more. 23. Three. There we go. All right. Good enough. That will be the all the defense that little village has. Okay, everyone else come back over here. And let's regroup, rebuild our forces. Become even more powerful. We're just going to have one giant army. We're going to A move, which is where you just send every unit in one direction and hope you kill everything. So our next enemy, I guess, is going to be green. He's the closest. Through the schemes of Hera. And we have a Medusa. Petrifies units at range. Awesome. Welcome to the team, Medusa. Don't seduce or petrify any of my dudes. Uh, 
I would really like it if you don't kill us. What are all these things? Secret of the Titans. Unlocks the Secrets of Titans will give you a, a god power that allows placement of the Titan Gate. I want that. But I need food and gold. So we're going to have to wait. Wow. Oh, these guys are mining gold. No, I was like, why is my gold like just not regenerating? Okay, we're going to go over here. And oh, interesting. These guys are all going over there. This guy here is going to build a storehouse. Where was that gold mine? Right there. There. And got to be more gold. Hey, what is this? Infantry does more damage to Titan. Uh, I don't care enough to actually like send someone over there, but that's nice. Nice to know that stuff exists. Um, Is there no more gold? Oh, look. Look at all this gold. Hello. I'm going to pull some people off wood because we have so much wood. We need to increase our gold production. Um, so I I understand now why there's sort of like abandoned villages all over the place. But when I first started playing, I was like, wow, look at all these villages. I'm going to capture as many as I can as quickly as I can. But now I'm sort of like, oh, my God, what the hell is that? Holy jeez! They have a Titan. Powerful against all units and buildings. Takes 20, 20 couples? Like, look, it's a man and a woman. What is that icon? Takes 20 sexes? You have to have 20 people having sex at once before they can summon a titan? Um, <laughs> I mean, maybe it's just people hugging. I don't know. It looked like two naked people from the icon is all I'm saying. Anyway, I got to get my mind out of the gutter here. Um, so the green guy clearly is powerful. Oh, hello. Maybe we could do this. Oh, we totally can. I wonder if he can destroy this, this portal, though. You have invoked the underworld passage. Oh, yeah. Anytime we want now, we can go here and he'll probably kill us all. That was probably a very stupid place to put the passage. And okay, so you get these abilities only once. Oh my god, he has alligators working for him? That doesn't seem fair. Also, how cheap is this? My underworld passage is just literally sitting there. Should we attack him? Should we go for it? Okay, we're going to bring our army back, and if he attacks us, then we'll send everyone in to attack him. He seems to be ignoring it. Are we at peace with this guy? Is he an ally? I was originally going to go down here and attack this guy, but I feel like this guy is more pressing to kill. But he seems to be doing nothing. He's not even... Look, he's not even farming. What is his What is his strategy? Stand there and look cool? All right. Well, we are going to send someone to kill him eventually, but... Uh, Secret of the Titan. Give you a god power that allows placement of the Titan Gate. That's what I want, baby. Masons. Aragrant's more hit points. I don't care about any of this. Heroes to have more hit points. That's probably good. I'll take both of those things. Cruise line of sight of units. Makes Minotaurs cheaper. Allows your temples to heal nearby units. Increase myth units, hack and pierce and crush attacks. Uh, yeah. I don't know. Do it all, I guess. Uh, build a couple of Minotaurs. And then I guess we'll do this. No, wait, this? There we go. All right, good enough. We're upgrading our guys a bit, getting ready for a siege on the green player. This is either going to be awesome or a huge catastrophe. Powerful against all units. 7,000 hit points. Oh my God, he's moving. <laughs> Wait, this is raw. They have literally summoned raw. Is my, am I going to summon Zeus? Zeus himself? That would be awesome. Uh, Secret of the Titan. Oh, yeah. Titan Gate uses to place a lost Titan Gate. Oh, we should totally place it down there right in his base. He might screw with it, though. So we're going to place it right over here. Boom. Now what? Oh, I have to actually like send people to, uh, to do stuff. All right. I'm going to grab some villagers. And we'll build a few more here. 
There we go. All right. You guys build that. That's going to take a while, actually. It's going to take a long while, actually. Should I send more dudes? Okay, while all that stuff is going on, let's let's take stock of our army and see what we got going on here. Got a couple new minotaurs. Welcome to the gang, dude! Bull minotaur. What is this yellow bar? Like his powers? Bullman with a gore attack. Right. Hercules. Hippokin. Odysseus. Got some good heroes here. And random, random birds flying around. Guy is doing nothing. I feel like he's given up on life. <laughs> he's not a very vengeful god. He's not even like a happy god. He's just sort of like, eh. He's like, yeah, I'm here. What of it? What of it? Um, okay, let's start. Oh, wait, that's a market. Uh, let's start pumping out villagers in order to make this go faster. Because this is taking way too long. What I really need are more farms, but I'm not going to worry about that right now. Look at all the resources I'm floating. This is so bad. <laughs> Oh man, I've pulled everyone off of gold over here because I realized I have a lot of people on gold over here. Swinging in unison by the looks of it, almost. But man, I just need people. Man, look how slow this is! Yeah, you hammer that dirt. All they, they have clubs and they're just hitting the ground. That's not how you build something, I don't think. I've watched Home Improvement Show, guys. You've got to like, actually stack things up. Cut things, assemble things, don't just hammer the same lot of dirt. It's not doing anything! You know what these peasants need to work faster? It's a cruel taskmaster. Hippokin is here. Work, you dogs. Work to your bone. Yeah, they're half done. Oh, what is this? This is an evil bird. We're halfway to unleashing a mighty titan. Damn straight. Whip them harder, Hippokin! Don't let them take any breaks. Work hard, you dogs! Work harder! Hey, things are actually starting to come together, though. Look at this. Look at this. The Titan Gate is happening, people. I feel like we're gonna summon, like, a demigod. It's gonna be the Stay Puft Marshmallow Man. Which actually would be totally awesome. I would be down with that. Uh, Gozer or whatever. If Gozer the Gozerian comes out of this portal, I'm going to be very happy, in fact. Now, I need a plan for what to do with all these guys once we're done. I guess they're all going on golden wood duty. Maybe these guys will go gold? Okay, they're almost done. I'm going to send these guys to gold. And these guys do this, and when you're done, come do wood. Oh, well, here we go. 600... 700 800 that under th this god is still dis totally disinterested in what I've done. I summoned a portal right by his base. He doesn't care. Oh, here we go. Oh, we're summoning Cerberus. Oh yeah, three-headed dog who walks on hind legs apparently. Mythical unit, powerful against everything. Oh yeah, dog. <laughs> All right, so we have a titan. Okay, here's our plan. We are going to go in this underworld portal, but we're sending the Titan first. So... Wait. Why is this guy part of the group? Here we go. One, three. Okay. Get in that portal, dude. Can he go in? Oh, he cannot. He's too big. All right. Well, we have a giant dog. Let's just send these guys in and see what happens. Go! Attack! Oh, man! The alligator shoots lightning! Or sun power or something. Um... He is killing us. This seems to be a horrible decision that I have made. Okay, flee! <laughs> Run for it, Jason! Oh, he got squished. Alright. In doing that, we seem to have awoken the Titan, so there we go. Uh-oh. He might be coming to kill us now. Uh, Alright, everyone come over here. Let's rebuild. 
The Medusa, by the way. Oh, I was gonna say she didn't do anything, but she's in the back. Just hanging out. Um, okay, who died? Hercules died. Uh, is that it? Oh, Jason's still around. Wait, Hippocrates is still around? Wow. So it's just a bunch of, like, grunts and stuff that died. I'm okay with that. Gonna create a mix of guys. There we go. No room for populate for champion Peltus. Training will be suspended. Whatever. All right. Oh, hello. Kaboom! What is this? Wait, what is this? A bird is bringing us a tent? What is that? Is he gonna drop a bomb on us or something? Oh, we're totally killing him. All right, well, down he goes. Wait, what was that? A bird carrying a tent just showed up randomly. We killed it. What does that mean? All right, we have a pretty good army. I say we just go for it. Oh, here we go. You want to go Titan on Titan, buddy? Because I'll do it. I will do it. Oh, there we go. It's a slap fest. Big old slap fest between Titans. We're going to go ahead and try and, like, heal our guys. Oh, yeah. Everyone's being healed. How do you like that? How do you like that? We're even firing catapults at this thing. We're about to kill a god! Yeah! Worship that. All right. I think since we have just killed his god, it's time to actually go and invade him. So, everybody into the portal! They're defenseless! Our army is incredibly weak, but uh, they got nothing, so... I say we just go... Go give them what's for. Yeah! What is this? Monument of the Pharaohs. Well, whatever it is, it's gonna get taken down. All right, all I need my army to do is guard the catapults and we'll win. So as long as the catapults are being defended, that's all that matters. <laughs> Bunch of villagers coming to try and attack us. That ain't gonna work. We even got a Medusa in the mix. I don't know what's happening there. They're getting like summoned into like uh, uh, little dust tornadoes. Right, I think we're winning this fight, barely. We have very few units. But we have a lot of catapults. We just need discipline here, guys. And the villagers are actually putting up kind of a, <laughs> an annoyingly tough fight. Dude, Hippocrates, why did you heal that guy? <laughs> uh, okay, retreat. <laughs> All the catapults go back in. All right, well, we did some- we did significant damage there. I think that will teach him to send his god after me. We scared the crap out of him. Uh, time to rebuild one last time, I think. Okay, apparently these titans can, like, eat gold and wood and stuff and heal? Let's see if that actually is true, because I only have 3,000 hit points. Doesn't seem to do anything. What is this? Heavy Myrmidon. Infantry of Zeus, good against Egyptian, Norse, Chinese, and Atlantean human soldiers. Alright, let's build a bunch of those. Alright, Titan. Myth unit, powerful against all units. Scientific name? Uh, wait, sci science? This, this game? Of all the games to bring up science, I didn't think it would be a game called Age of Mythology. Uh, Titans ruled over the cosmos. How do you heal them, though? Allows your temples to heal nearby allied units. Let's see if this will actually heal the uh, Titan. We got one more god power, too. We haven't used a lightning storm. Target location to call down electric storm from Olympus. Strong against units, weak against buildings. That could be something. All right. Heal the Titan. The Titan doesn't seem to heal. Wait, kill this unit? Why is that an why is that an option? Alright, I have no idea how to heal my Titan. It probably doesn't matter, I'm sure it's fine. I don't think anyone else has a Titan. In fact, I haven't seen it only one player dared attack me, and it was this guy, and we really made him pay for it. In fact, he's he looks to be fairly decimated. 
Although actually not completely wiped out. He could easily be rebuilding, but we're going to give him a pass because we want to attack this guy because it's different. We like attacking people of different ethnicities and different races. We don't want to focus all our attacks on the Egyptians or the Chrononites. I mean, we committed genocide against the Chrononites, but let's not focus on little details like that. Uh, we like to mix things up is what I'm saying. Um, all right. Attack group one and attack group two. One does the smashing, two does the crashing. Any more upgrades we want before we go into battle? Um, sure. I think that's all we can afford. We're low on food. Let's just do this. You know, for a giant guy, you walk awfully slow. Can I just say that? He's moving at the pace of a waddle. He's a waddling. Our base is totally undefended. Hopefully nobody comes to attack us. You know what we never built was a Pegasus. I say we build a Pegasus. Go it against myth units. We're going for it. <laughs> Turns out the uh, the Titan, basically a uh, catapult protector dude. All right, catapults, attack! Lure them out to us so that we might defeat them in the open field. These guys are Norse, I think. Oh, he's going for it. All right. <laughs> he he craves blood. Um. Oh, yeah. All right. You know what, Titan guy? You lead the way, sir. You lead the way. All right, we are smashing and demolishing them. Oh, here they come. All right, now that they're here, let's let them have it, guys. Oh, my God. He just totally demolished most of their army instantly. Kill them all. All right, you know what, Titan, dude? You can do the most... You can do the most for us by uh, just attacking the village. I think my army's got it from here. Oh, he just decimated those houses. Oh, that guy got... To Got annihilated. Yeah. Well, there goes their town center. They're screwed. All right, we, uh, oh God, get, get out of there. My guys get, oh no, we all got frozen. Are we, are we dead? Are we all dead? Did we worship the wrong God? Ironic as, as that may seem in the end. To destroy all these guard towers. Boom! One hit kills. Oh! And down you go. I don't know how long that freezing stuff's gonna last, but... Oh my god, he's just invincible. He's just invincible. He's, he's single-handedly holding the line. Against, like, a lot of being pelted with arrows, too. Oh my god. And they've frozen my whole army. My whole army is froze. <laughs> Basically, you just need a Titan and you can win the game. As it turns out. Oh, yeah. That is such a sweet move. All right. Well, I feel like we got this one in the bag. I mean, yes, we were playing on easy today. We're just messing around in Age of Mythology. I think Age of Mythology is a very nice sort of extension of Age of Empires. Like after Age of Empires one and two, like where do you where do you go? And I think mythology is a great place to go. You know, like you've done the historically accurate combat. You've you know Ensemble Studios they went ahead and, and sort of perfected their style of our real-time strategy games. It's like you could you could have made Age of Empire the next Age of Empires if you wanted. Gone all historically accurate again. But I think doing something a little different is cool and fun. And I think uh, it makes for a good game. So we could we could wander around the map and stomp out all the other resistance. But I think the only other resistance that matters to us is this green player over here. So we're sending everything we have 
Man, we just demolished that town. We're going to send everything we have over there and see... See if we have enough to wipe them out. Maybe they've rebuilt, maybe they haven't, but we do have a lightning storm we haven't used. Um, but in terms of how this game played, I thought that there's a lot of cool elements in this game. I mean, obviously we're playing on easy, so the computer really took it easy on us. We had uh, tons of time to build things up. I probably didn't build things efficiently. I, you know, I didn't know what to build and what was good against what. I'm just sort of messing around here, but um, I do feel like, oh, here's our Pegasus, by the way. Um, I thought these things flew. Does it fly? Their fly command? Instruct? How about kill this unit? Oh, we just, our Pegasus just died of a broken heart, guys. Uh, but yeah, in terms of like, I think this game has a lot of cool ideas in it. It's neat that there are like random relics. Like I found a few more that I haven't bothered to pick up. But it's neat that there's like a few random relics around the map that you can get that, uh, you know, upgrade your units permanently and give you like different abilities and stuff uh a mining camp and a priest oh that mining camp got decimated the priest just hanging around a mining camp i don't know what that's about but you're going down buddy and off to heaven he goes yeah i don't know it seems like a cool game to me um you know off of just like a single sort of try of a game it's hard to necessarily say if this is like a game that people must play because it's hard to get a full sense of a real-time strategy game uh, off of just playing it once like i did just here today um, but i do think this game has some cool ideas so if you do like real-time strategy games and you're looking for like another classic one to try out that maybe is a little different um if you're a fan of the age of empire series i could see this being a sort of a fun extension of that um even if you've never really played age of empires before I mean, this might be a good one to get into if you're into things like StarCraft and WarCraft and Command and & Conquer and stuff. Because I feel like, um, you know, games like WarCraft mix, you know, s I mean, WarCraft isn't even historically accurate, but it mixes like magic and stuff in it. And I mean, I personally have always not super been drawn to Age of Empires because it feels, oh, this guy wants to surrender. No, you may not. We don't accept your surrender. We're going to kill your alligators and all the men who worship them. Um, but I feel like, you know, one thing, one minor thing that sort of like didn't turn me off, but like made me a little less interested in playing Age of Empires is that it was so historically accurate. If that doesn't sound too crazy, because like I like the idea of like magic and stuff in my fantasy, like I like Dungeons and Dragons and that kind of stuff. So I just was always more interested in uh in warcraft than something like age of empires because i want the magic and and the, the mythology um so age of mythology is sort of like age of empires with magic you know i mean in fact that's basically what it is so it's kind of a neat kind of a neat idea and yeah i think i don't know seems like a decent game but what do you guys think do you agree with my assessment here? Did you play Age of Mythology back in the day? Do you have some tips or tricks that you could share with us? Um, or is this a game that like you just were never interested in? Maybe these Titans were too cheap. You know, once an opponent built a Titan, it's like it seems to be just like game over. He's like one shotting these buildings. So we got lucky in a Titan versus Titan battle. But I think if you didn't have a Titan of your own and your buddy rushed to a Titan, you could be totally screwed. So this is sort of like uh, you know, the, the, the unit just wins the game. Oh my god, like, we, we, in fact, could kill another player while we wrap up here. And in fact, I think that's exactly what we should do. Oh, look at this pitiful army. You're going down, son! <laughs> what is this guy? A mountain giant. Oh, this guy's Norse. That's cool. We finally found Odin, my, uh, main adversary. Uh, but he's not gonna last long, is he? Anyway, yes, uh, this has been uh, Age of Mythology, a cool real-time strategy game, but what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments down below, and as always, whether you've enjoyed the game or whatever you think of the game here today, hopefully today has been entertaining and enjoyable for you. If it has, don't forget to like the video and all this stuff, and I will catch you guys in the next one. So until next time, my friends, from Gaming J and the Gods He Worships, peace. You know, I think there's a lesson in today's video. And that's worship Zeus. Or else. You know, we never used a lightning storm. And these guys just surrendered to me, but nonetheless, screw them. Burn!
Yeah, we did it! Oh. I guess time just freezes when you win. And then you have to quit. You don't intimidate me with your donkey and spices!